So for my entire lacrosse career, there's been this huge problem with lacrosse balls and no one's ever really addressed it. We've all, as lacrosse players, just dealt with it and ignored it. Um, and that is that lacrosse balls, over time, about a month or two, they get really greasy and slippery and they also get really, really hard. And so people have just ignored the problem, but really as far as performance goes in training, uh, it is a really big problem uh, for when you're trying to practice and get better. When the balls become greasy and slippery, they don't throw the same. They throw really high, they fly out much more often, and if you train with a greasy lacrosse ball and then pick up a brand new one on the field when you play, it's gonna throw completely different and all that muscle memory and all the reps you did are gonna be kind of wasted. Uh, but really what a lot of it is, is just UV exposure and leaving them out. So we left a bunch of balls out, different brands, uh, without ever having played with them or put them on the turf within a matter of a week or two, they became extremely greasy just from getting sun exposure and being rained on. So knowing this was a huge problem, something we've all as lacrosse players dealt with, we really at East Coast Eyes wanted to come up with a solution, a new lacrosse ball that wouldn't get greasy and wouldn't get hard. So we started with the material selection and we started by testing what makes lacrosse balls greasy and that could kind of lead us into uh, doing research development and testing new materials to find a new material and a new manufacturing process uh, that would create a ball that would last a lot longer. Um, and second, we made them in the United States, which is something that's really important to us and we feel like it really speaks to the quality and the longevity of our new mint lacrosse balls. The main difference between our mint lacrosse ball and all the other lacrosse balls on the market is the other ones are made with what's called vulcanized rubber and then they have additives to make the ball softer so that they meet the specs that they have to for Noxie and all the college specs. And eventually those additives and the cheap vulcanized rubber is what causes them to become greasy. And our ball is different in that it has a new patent pending material uh, that allows it to not become greasy. So the new Mint Lacrosse Ball releases on June 16th. We're really excited for you guys to try it out and see how it makes a difference in your personal training regimens and to get using them out in your backyards to get better.